also need to meal prep today. So that's what we're gonna do. Yo, this is good. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. We start like really biting into it, baby. Hello, beautiful people. Um, I am about to make some juice, some green juice. So I'm just like cleaning off my kale right now. My kale. I always say it like it's a name, like my kale, my kale. I have some celery that I am going to add in my juice. So I'm doing kale, I have celery, I'm adding some, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger to this as well. I have some cucumbers and I have some apples. So we're about to finish cleaning everything off right now. I am gonna like take the skin off of these, so I'm gonna finish prepping that. Probably gonna prep it off camera because it's just a lot of work. Maybe not, maybe I can do it on camera. Do the apples first. Make sure they look good. All right, now this thing better not give me no issues. I know that. Now for the cucumber. Hey y'all, I have never. Let me wait for that to simmer, simmer. I have. I don't think I've ever. Um, juiced kale so I'm hoping it's not gonna be like <laughs> when you cook spinach on the stove and like little to nothing comes out I imagine it might be but regardless it'll be good to throw in our juice okay I got some juice I got some juice we got a little bit more to go and I also have ginger y'all this might not even be the right way to juice but this is how I'm juicing and I have my container I'll link where I purchased this in the description box, but I have, this is what I'm gonna put the fresh juice in. And I am going to scoop some of the foam out of here, but then I'm also going to strain it through this. Hopefully this works. So you look at it. All right, so I found this, but I think I'm gonna have to pour this in a bowl and then, now I'm just dirty and stuff up at this point. All right, so we're going to do this. Yeah, that worked. That worked perfectly. And we just made some green juice. I hope it's good because this is what we have. That was the perfect amount. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow, this is good. Mm -hmm. This, I'm still getting a kick of the ginger. I can taste the celery, but putting the apples in there really helped. But it's really good. I know it's gonna be even better once it's cold. Ooh. I also need to meal prep today. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Um, I didn't even introduce myself, but hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakela. I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. It means so much to me when you come back, when you watch these videos, when you leave me comments, and when you subscribe to my channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess it is 2.30. It's kind of early still but i want to get a head start because i want to start the day tomorrow like i just want actually i want to be able to prepare for the week tonight like i don't want to feel rushed so i'm glad i have some time we are about to yeah get meal prep started it's about to be so good my juice is fire mm. y'all this is delicious this is delicious Mm, 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 mm. Oh, what did I have on the menu for meal prep this week? I think I had, oh, I'm going to make soup. I know that for sure. I know I said I wanted to do, y'all, why am I drawing a blank? Like, I literally just got groceries delivered for this. 
I want to do like tofu, broccoli, and rice for breakfast. What did I have for breakfast? Oh, breakfast tacos. And then for lunch, I'm gonna do the tofu. Just like basic tofu, um, tofu, rice, and veggies. But then also I wanna do a stir fry so I can so I can have options. I don't wanna just be stuck to the same thing, which is why I'm gonna make two of everything. Well, two meals for each so I can alternate. I'm not gonna make like a huge spread because it's only five days in a week. Well, I mean, okay, it's actually seven, but I'm not cooking for the weekend, just for the week. I found that I need to have meals prepared. I do, I have to have meals prepared or I just like do whatever. And then for dinner, I'm making a soup. So don't hate me, but in this video, I'm not showing the soup because I have a soup video coming up. The weather's getting cooler, we're getting cold, we're sitting inside, so I'm gonna be sharing in a future video, I'm going to be sharing some different soup recipes for y'all to try, which are going to be delicious. But for now, let's get into this meal prep. So I just realized I forgot to throw out my tofu. So I've shared before, I always freeze my tofu, then I let it throw out. I need to throw this out because I want to cook it. But so I'm going to let this sit out. It's probably about to take forever, forever. It's kind of disappointing. I might just like put it in hot water. I think that's what I'm gonna do, put it in some hot water. But I'm about to get started on the breakfast tacos. Really all I'm doing is prepping the filling. The filling is gonna be, so I have potatoes. I'm gonna do like potatoes and onions. I have some black beans and I have some avocado, which I'm gonna put in there. And then I have some salsa. I think I'm gonna make like a cashew cream sauce. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Y'all, I haven't did anything but cook these onions and it smells like I'm in here throwing down. Add in some garlic powder, black pepper, paprika. <laughs> these are my go-tos. Have some garlic salt that I'm gonna add in here. I have this dash onion and herb. Probably just gonna pour. Honestly, may move it from this pan to another one. So give me a second. All right, so I'm also about to make some um, sauteed onions so that I can kind of pair it with everything. I'm gonna add vegetable broth down. a little bit more broth to it so I can mix it up some more. stir fry the protein that I'm using is this daring vegan chicken I do have tofu which you could also use in this but I want to save the tofu for another lunch um, meal 
so that I'm not having the same thing again. So that's, I'm about to cook this up really quick and then we'll cook up the vegetables. Y'all, lately I've been really about simple meals that are delicious and help me get some nutrients like protein, fiber, as well as meals that really don't require a lot. And so that's kind of what you're going to see in this video. Stir fries are honestly probably one of the best meal preps because they last for a while in the fridge, the sauce is really good, and you can get your fiber as well as your protein from whatever meat substitute or protein you decide to use. I'm checking in because, so, so far, everything for the breakfast tacos are done. Praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. We're knocking out lunch right now, which is a tofu stir, I mean, which is a stir fry with the vegan chicken. And then I'm just going to cut up this tofu, throw it in the air fryer. I need to cook quinoa because I want to have some quinoa with this. And then I'm about to watch Real Housewives of Potomac because it's about to be good, okay? And one thing I'm gonna make is some tofu. <laughs> Whether it's a scramble, some crispy tofus. It, listen, tofu is gonna be on the menu. So decided to whip up a quick and easy air fried tofu. This was, y'all, once y'all see how I plated this, like with all the other ingredients, listen, off the chain. So I know I'm gonna get a question about this. So when it comes to tofu, I buy extra firm tofu. I freeze it while it's in the package. I don't take it out. I just throw it in the freezer once I get home from the grocery store. And then when I'm ready to cook it, I let it thaw out. And the reason why I do that is because it changes the texture. It makes the tofu have more of a bite. It's not as gummy and chewy and mushy. And y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. But this changes the texture completely. So it allows like whatever sauces, seasonings to absorb really well in the tofu. And so that's why I freeze my tofu and thaw it out. And then I cook it because it changes the texture and it just tastes better in my opinion. So now we finally get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Let's get into how I enjoyed everything that I made. Good morning, y'all. So we did all that work last night, meal prepping, right? So I just had my juice, which y'all saw me make. And it's so good. But I have breakfast. Y'all saw last night I made the... Um, was it the potatoes, cut up some onion, well cooked up some onions. I also have some black beans, I have some salsa. We have this, the cashew sauce that I made, which is like, that I'm gonna drizzle on top. Also, yeah, says salsa, and maybe avocado, we'll see. These potatoes and onions, like, it just, I don't know what it is about potatoes and onions, but they hold a special place in my heart because y'all homegirl, my mama, she used to always make me and my siblings potatoes and onions growing up, like literally, probably not every day, but like every other day. And I do the same. 
and I can't get enough of them. So y'all may start seeing these in the rotation. It just, it was the perfect addition to these breakfast tacos, which were so good. stir-fry that I made last night. I have some rice that I'm warming up and there it goes, it's done. So I'm just gonna have this over the rice. I'm just about to dump it. That's it. All right, now let's do a little taste test. Brandon's in here. <laughs> he was about to try to be quiet. I'm like, it's your kitchen too, baby. You can talk, you can talk. I could go for some coffee. I could go for some coffee. <laughs> I could go for some coffee. Let's do it. Thanks. All right, so let's try this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. When you start like really biting into it, baby, this is delicious. Or should I do matcha? my baby y'all he took pictures the other day and we got in him you look so handsome so your girl got her coffee well he actually made me cold brew which was perfect because I can enjoy it so after two this has to like sit in the fridge for like two days but so after two days I can just mix it with some oat milk almond milk cashew milk or what y'all are gonna see in next week's video is that I was able to freeze the cold brew and make cold brew cubes. And then I just added a splash of milk. Listen, so good. And by milk, I do mean a plant milk. <laughs> so just in case. Now this meal was so delicious because it was packed with protein from the quinoa, also the tofu, but then I got my fiber. And then that little yogurt situation that we're drizzling on top. Y'all, as I like to always say, chef's kiss. It was so good, so simple, so easy, and yeah. The cold brew is ready. So we're about to have that. I actually have some plant milk here. You can see the it's a little discolored because I added in some sweetener. So I need to stir this up really quick and then we get to enjoy our cold brew. So here is how it looks. The bag that Brandon put together. So it just sits in there and uh, we made cold brew. In my plant milk, I actually added in like a caramel, um, a liquid, what's the word I'm like? Uh, oh, caramel syrup, <laughs> there we go. Okay, hopefully this doesn't spill crazy. Ah. Okay, it did just a little bit. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Let me clean my mess up. so good. I'm about to go enjoy this with more breakfast tacos.